All right, so this is Tyree. I'm on my way to Boonesboro High School to do a Sex as Consequences Assembly. Of course, it's in Boonesboro, Maryland. Really excited. This is our third assembly for this year, 2012, for the Sex as Consequences uh, school tour. And um, it's been a really good time. Boonesboro's always been a, a great group. One thing I really like about this year is that the other years it was a uh, it was an opt-in situation, which means that students had to get their paperwork signed by their parent to say that they can come. So that means if a student forgot to give it to their parent and their parent just didn't know, that means they couldn't attend. This year it's an opt-out situation, which means that students have to give the paperwork to their parents um, and their parents have to sign it if they don't want them to participate. So of course this group is probably gonna be a lot larger. So that's always good, it's really good content. Um, my, my role in it is I talk about the things that condoms and birth control can't protect you from. And Tammy Fuller, she's from the health department. She talks about the medical uh, consequences to uh, sex, which are, you know, the STIs, sexually transmitted infections, syphilis, gonorrhea, uh, trichomoniasis, all those good things. So um, really anxious to see how this assembly is. We're driving there now. I'm keeping my eyes on the road so everything is safe. So we'll see how it goes. We'll update you. I'll probably get you a video while we're in there. Hey, y'all. This is Tyree from Rock and Mike. And we're here at Boone's World High School. All right? One of the largest groups we've had. Three simple words today. We learned three simple words, and they're going to shout these out on the count of three. One, two, three. Sex has consequences. That's Google High. They learned the sex has consequences today. Give it up for yourselves. Give it up for yourselves. Give yourselves a hand. We're crazy in this place. Google High School, you've been a great group. Check us out on Twitter and all that stuff. We got a lot of stuff popping off for you. Thank you. Of the assembly. Sex has consequences. <laughs> Is there anything else you want to add? Was it fun? It was pretty fun. Kind of gross, though. Uh, Being honest gross. here. Did you get knowledge? Yes. Okay, cool. Definitely. Thank you. Bye. That's all. All right, y'all. This is your boy, Tyree. And just left Boonesboro High School. And I got to say, what a great group of, uh, of students. At that school, had an awesome, 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 incredible time. Uh, at that school, I'd say there was about... Um, so there was about 12 rows, 12 to 15 rows across, and it went about 25, maybe 25 um, rows back. So that is, uh, that's amazing. Great group of kids for the amount of kids that were there. Uh, They're really, um, really respectful. And so I think that's, that is, you know, my hat's off, my sunglasses off to Boonesboro, Boonesboro High School for, for that. A um, lot of good questions. A lot of great feedback. I had one student say, you know, you took an awkward situation, um, an awkward, um, awkward topic of sex and the consequences, the pictures, the STIs, the disease pictures of genitalia. And you made it entertaining, you made it fun, and I learned something. And I said, good, write that down and tell somebody. Uh, but it, it was, it was, it was absolutely phenomenal. Um, one of the um, one one of the people asked me why do I do what I do, and I told him to check out the video uh, today, and I'll, I'll explain why I do what I do. When I was in high school, I had a person come to my school, and 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 they spoke, and I was like, just kind of like, it not not only did was it cool because I got out of school, but it was it, it was a it was a great experience for me, and I, I can't really put my finger on why it, it, it was so good uh, I, I think because in like a school setting it wasn't like a teacher kind of like like instructing us on what to do but it was like a life story and um, and my heart went, went after this dude man and, and what he went through and how he made other people uh, in, in, in my school think and so when I was younger they diagnosed me with dyslexia a learn, reading and learning comprehension problem and I had a bad stutter and he said that I wouldn't be able to get up in front and talk to people uh, and I think one of the, a major reason why I do what I do 
One is because a person came to my school and touched my life and my friends' lives. Uh, two, because I was told that I would never be able to do this, that I would never be able to get up in front and talk to people. Um, thirdly, just recently, a, uh, a, a student uh, tweeted me uh, as a direct message it said, you came to my high school about two years ago, and I'm just now talking about this, but I was going to kill myself that weekend, and you came to my school on a Thursday uh, to do an anti-bullying assembly, and, and and I didn't kill myself. And at this school, she she told me who she was, and I remember talking to the principal about this. Um, it was like a, a connection moment during an anti-bullying assembly. And basically, we just had students make it right with each other. They picked on it. And I remember at, at that moment, I, I, I even remember who this girl was. Um, but during that assembly, her two friends came down to her and like held her hands up in the air. We sang the song that and we said, I can remember this girl crying. That's why that's why I really remember this one. Uh, but that that is probably one of the biggest reasons is because of that life that was touched. Uh, doing that assembly. That's why I do what I do. And uh, so, man, thanks for asking that question. Uh, I have a question for you guys. Here's a question of the day. Would you rather go through a grocery store and hug everybody that, every hug every stranger that you see? All right, would you rather go through a grocery store, hug every stranger that you see, or while you're in the checkout line, look back at the person behind you, the stranger behind you, just look at it real weird, like on their face, like just like staring up and down, like throughout, throughout the whole checkout line. All right. So, would you rather hug every stranger you see in a grocery store, or rather, or would you rather turn around and look really weird at the person behind you in the checkout line? That's the question of the day. All right, check us out on Facebook, uh, Twitter, YouTube. Rock your mic. Take your mom and them. Peace.